Okay, so today we're going to do an oil change on this 2007 Saturn iron. I'm going to send an oil sample to be analyzed, and I'll also be cutting open the oil filter to see how she looks. So let's get started. This is set for it's supposed to be a good idea to get your here. Filtration of Okay, we get the drain plug off. Okay, she's ready to go. There she goes. my sample okay let's go do the filter okay this beauty cover just comes right off okay and this takes a one and a quarter inch socket What I like to do is mark it down there, so I'll reinstall it. I put it in the same place. I'll mark it with a magic marker or a piece, you know, some paint, or something. I got a piece of, uh, I got some paint on there right now, white paint. Okay, there she is. Okay, let's cut her open and uh, check the oil analysis and, uh, and we'll see how it all looks. Be right back. Okay, so before I cut this open, I just want to go over some quick uh, specs on this filter. She's got 56 pleats and it's a Champ P3244. You can get these at Rock Auto today for a dollar twenty-five, and I got a separate video showing how this filter is the exact same as the SuperTech and the AC Delco, and I'll put a link down below for that. But um, as you can see right now, you can't really see much; it's just all oily. It got a little, looks like I got a little crunched in. Maybe I won't have to um, when I tighten that cap. I'll maybe just back off a little bit on it. But um. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut this and I'll squeeze it in a vise to get that oil out of it. And, um, yeah, it's, you can see, we'll see how much carbon is in it. I got the re oil report back today, and uh, then we'll go over that too. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here she is all stretched out, and she's 41 inches long. Most of the carbon is situated down on here, this end. So I'll focus more on that end. But here she's all stretched out. So let's focus over here, I guess. Okay, so at the 30 mark, this is where most of the carbon seems to be. Let's see if you can see some of this. Oh, you can see a little. I see this shiny piece there. It's probably, probably a little piece of metal. Yeah. But overall, this filter doesn't have, doesn't have much carbon. See a little bit here. There. I've got a magnet. I'm going to see if any of this will... It sticks to that. But it's not really taking the carbon. I could take a little piece of shiny metal here. If you could see this one, that's too far away. Um, there's little tiny, tiny, tiny pieces here. One right here. Yeah, they're they're just 
really minute. And I think it picked that one up. I see little tiny ones, but not much. It's actually a pretty clean filter. I've seen dirtier ones. Mine, mine come out with a lot more carbon than this one. But the oil results, they were pretty good, so... Um, I guess the filter's doing its job. So you can see this carbon. Didn't get you a close-up of it. You can see it on there. It's pretty small. But that's what you get. That's what's in the engine. That's what's in the engine oil, I should say. And your filter's doing its job by catching this stuff. Keeps your keeps your oil cleaner. Let's see if any of it is magnetic. Any of it is magnetic. You see a sparkle there, but. Nah, well, well, did grab a little piece there, I think. It's hard to tell. You see a shiny piece, or is it right there? See that one? Yeah, and there was no metal to cut open on this. You can see it right here, there's no metal here. So that's from the engine not coming from this filter like I've had I've cut some other ones open with the metal backing screen metal backing you know and it, it, it had a but this is all plastic so it's there's no way it came from this filter itself from cutting it open yeah so that's about all there is to see on this filter media um, I guess I'll go, we'll go and look at the report next. I'm going to try to set this up so it's easier for you guys to see it and easier for me to read it. So, Oh, and I also want to mention uh, this filter. It's This is a cellulose media, and it's supposed to pick uh, particles down to 30 microns. So with that said, that's what these particles are. I guess they're down to 30 microns or above. Okay, so be right back. Okay, so here's the report. She went 3,652 miles on this oil. And the reason I changed it out was it was down a quart and I wasn't going to put any oil in. It would have messed the report up. So I just changed the oil out and that's what we got right now. I mean, you could add a quart and probably and go, you know, go further, but uh, I didn't want to ruin the um, test results. So, you know, the oil results would have been, would have been off. So anyways, this is what they are. And I named her Little Red Riding Hood. And the guy at the place who uh, analyzes the oil put down some remarks here. You can read this if you want. He came down to a TBN of 2.0, so no fuel or coolant was found. So let's look at it. Okay, we'll go down to aluminum. Aluminum had four. The average is four. And zero. Yeah, the aluminum you can get from bearings and bushings. Let's look at the iron. iron. Iron was 11. The universal average is 20. Let's see if you can, can you see that? Yeah, 20 right there. I gotta pull this back. Okay, make sure you guys can see all this. And it's 20. Um, so it's a little low, but see, they're they're basing this on 5,500 mile run. So of course it's gonna be low, but you know, judging by that, it's probably right on the mark because it's you know. It's over halfway, and you got about half, you know, half the number. So that's pretty good. Copper two, universal is two, and you know, copper you can get off of. Uh, you can also get that on bearings too. And lead zero, that's good. Tin zero, Molly, 
you know, Molly Denham has 208, so that's a pretty good, pretty good number. And the Molly's a, the Molly's an anti-wear additive, so it, it's nice to have some Molly in your oil. <laughs> Anyways, the universal average is 74. Okay, so I'll turn this camera down. Let's check these out. These are all zeros. Nickel, magnesium, silver, titanium, potassium, boron. Boron, we got 69. Universal average is 48. Go down here. And the boron is, um, is a detergent additive. Keeps your oil, I mean, it keeps your engine cleaner. Let me zoom this back out a little bit. I think I'm too close. I can get it out here. Okay, and uh, silicone seven, and the average is nine, so that's pretty good. The silicone usually they put that in just as uh, some kind of anti foaming, so the oil doesn't foam up. And it could be you know particles in the air filter, but I doubt it. That seven's pretty low, so that's that's all good. Sodium six, that just depends what they put in the oils. Sometimes they put them in, sometimes they don't. But the universal is forty one. Calcium was a little low, 11.04, universal is 16.44, and calcium is a, is also a detergent additive, and we go down to the magnesium, we got 4.12, and the magnesium helps to keep the dirt in suspension in the oil so the filter can catch it in the first place, so it's good to have some magnesium in there, you got 4.12, Universal is 281. Phosphorus, 600. Universal is 665, so that's pretty close. And the phosphorus, that's another anti-wear additive. Zinc, that's an anti-wear additive. You got 60, 682. Universal is 761. And you don't want too much of this anyways. They used to use it a lot in the older, you know, in the older times. <laughs> but, um... You know, before the catalytic converters came in. But now, since you got the cats, you don't want this number to be too high or else it messes with the catalytic converter. Barium, we got zero. Zero here. Let me get this camera down here. Okay. And down here. All right. Viscosities. 56.1, that's in spec. 9.1, that's also in spec. I don't know what it starts off as. I'll put it up here, um, what it starts off as. I'll look it up. It's probably around 10, but it might have got shared a little bit. And Flashpoint 425, which is a good number. I mean, kind of shows that there's no fuel in there. Otherwise, if you had a lower number, that would mean you have some fuel in that oil. And the fuel they got minus 0 0.5, which is good. Antifreeze zero. Insolubles, 0.2. That would be, you know, if that was a high number, your filter probably isn't working too good. And a TBN of 2, which 1 is the worst, you know, the, about the lowest you want to go. So, like I says, I didn't want to go any further on this oil because it would have ruined the test results. But this is a good, I think, oil change interval for, for her anyways. Um... You know, I think I think you can add a quart and, and go maybe another thousand miles or something. I don't know, but you know, one thing this this oil is 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 a synthetic blend. You know, if you get a full synthetic oil, you know, it's not my car, so I don't know how much it actually burns and everything. But um, you know, it doesn't leak or anything. I know that much. But um, you know, a, a different oil maybe wouldn't burn up as much either. You know, like a full synthetic maybe wouldn't burn as much. It's hard to tell. I put the same oil back in, so it's going to be whatever it is. Maybe in a, I'll do another report on this, but I'm going to use something like a full synthetic and see how it does. But me personally, I wouldn't go any further than this this mileage right here. I mean, that's, that's good enough. It went down a quart. The numbers are pretty good. The oil filter costs $1.25, and the oil for this, this oil right here that I was using costed Nine ninety nine. So I mean, there's <laughs> why stretch it? I mean, that's that's hardly nothing. 
So I think I'll wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun making it. It's kind of difficult making it. I don't do this too often. So now I just started making these kind of videos now. So it's a little bit different than making the oil filter videos. But I'll try my best to get better at it. Hey, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.